Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be going over three SAT questions. The first one that we have here is a graph and it says which of the following is an equation of line L in the XY plane above. So linear equations are written in the form Y equals MX plus B, where M is our slope and B is our Y intercept. So if we look at our graph, we can see that it crosses the y axis at 1. So we know that our equation should be y equals something times x plus 1. As we can see, it goes up 1 and then to the right 1. So the slope m is going to be 1 over 1 or 1. So this is going to be our answer, y equals x plus 1, which is answer choice D. The circle above with center O has a circumference of 36. What is the length of the minor arc AC? If we look at the minor arc, we can see that it has this angle of 90 degrees, which is one fourth of the entire circle. So all we have to do is get the entire circumference and then divide it by 4 because that's the portion of the circle that we're looking for. 36 divided by 4 is 9. So that'll be answer choice A. The third question we have is what are the solutions of the quadratic equation below? 4x squared minus 8x minus 12 equals 0. So first I'm going to rewrite it. Then we can identify that each of these terms have a four in common. So if we factor out a four, we'll be left with x squared minus two x minus three. And if we divide both sides by four, we can eliminate this four on the outside. And we'll be left with x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Here we can factor it into two binomials. The first two terms of each are going to be x. The second two terms have to multiply to make 3. So we'll write 3 and 1. Since this 3 is negative, that means that 3 and 1 have to have different signs. The negative 2 tells us that the bigger number has to be negative. So we're going to end up with x minus 3 times x plus 1 equals 0. And if we set each of them equal to 0, we'll get x equals 3. And we will get x equals negative 1, which will be answer choice B.